This morning we're going to be tying another modified version of the famous toad fly. I've got an S12S uh, one aught tarpon hook here from Gamagatsu. I've got some 150 denier Lagerton thread in chartreuse. I'm going to make a nice thread wrap all the way back down the base. At the rear of the hook, I'm going to take a single chartreuse blood quill feather. We want the tail ideally about two and a quarter, two and a half inches. I'm going to tie that in. Then I'm going to parachute post that just a little bit just to uh, keep it from following. Of course, not slapping the water on the back cast makes a huge difference in whether or not your fly fouls too, but that's another day. That's a guide's problem. That's a guide's problem. Uh, I've got some uh, yellow cross-cut rabbit strips. So I put a little collar on here. Don't need a huge amount. Usually, a, you know, maybe two wraps at the most. I know buoyancy for this fly has been important, and the um, eyes are mono, so it's not going to really sink. Um, this, this, the, the body material here is going to be just a little bit heavier than the traditional polypropylene, but it also has some of the same qualities to it, and you know, there are a bunch of stuff you can do, longer liters of floating materials, you know, mono instead of fluorocarbon, stuff like that, um, that are going to help keep the thing up. Uh, this is not going to be your lead them by 50 foot fly for sure. This is going to be more like a 15, 20 foot lead on it. Um, so, you know, maybe a little bit murkier water, things like that, but uh, uh, motion. So when you pull this thing through the water, one of the great things about the toad is that it really kicked a whole bunch. And we're going to get almost, you know, more, basically more motion out of this. So with the tarantula legs, you've just peeled a little bit off the wire. Yeah, just a tiny bit up at the front. That way, you know, you pull some of the dubbing, some of the rubber out. The other thing that's nice about this is that, you know, you, the tying in that polypropylene head has always been kind of a bear. Um, you know, it's pretty time consuming. So this is you know, without a doubt, a lot faster. And you could tie it in that longer length. This is the half inch tarantula legs. You want it bigger, you could do it. You could trim it down from the one inch size too if you wanted to. Correct. So much faster than the figure yeah. eight. Yeah, it's, it's just ri ridiculously faster. I'll just kind of get some more of those little follicles out of the way there. Last step is going to be to tie in our eye. Whip finishing here. fluff out to the side. There you have a completed uh, tarantula-like toad. One of my new favorites. I hope it's one of yours too.